So what is up guys, Kelly Kevin today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website. This is going to be episode 20. Without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot is going to be White Run Guard Barracks. Addition, this, this adds a new section to the gates of White Run. This is for the people who like to cook good food, chill out and check their gear. Make gear, store gear and improve things overall. The atmosphere on this mod is absolutely insane as well. The mod authors also added things inside the guard tower such as a bedding area to the barracks so you can sleep in at any particular time and a ton of different facilities as well roaming up the top of Whiterun. Absolutely insane. To me there should be a little small section coming off the top half of Whiterun and why not? It's a nice little player home. I will be keeping this one as it's an incredibly small download size of just only half the MB. It's absolutely insane as well. I spend most of my time in Whiterun and what further better way to do it than a new set, sort of a new settlement for me in Whiterun. It's really quite nice. Highly recommend grabbing this one guys and trying it out. It's a nice new addition to add to Whiterun as well. Don't think it affects any overhauls. For me it hasn't in particular as you can see on screen now. So it's definitely worth grabbing and trying out. Warriors Priest of Stendar. This mod is a compilation of various mashup textures from different armors from Credo's Cleric's armors of the 9th divine they've also done a whole retexture done by hand this armor is going to be a male only this is going to be a heavy set armor requiring the steel smithing perk to craft within the steel category you're going to need some steel iron and some orange alchem with some few different other materials and it's going to be tagged as the imperial heavy it took me a kind of a long time to find just because i was trying to find the actual name within the forge it's not it's actually classed as imperial heavy and all the heavy armor perks should apply with this armor but if you are looking for the Fist of Stendar that will show up within the steel category. And all the stats are similar to Ebony. If you want to go and check out some more information about this absolutely sensational armor, then obviously go down in the description below, click that link, and read up on it. This is probably going to be in one of my top five just because I absolutely really like the look of this armor. It is so clean and crispy, and it just looks sensational with the weapon and the armor. Absolute brilliant mod. Go and grab this one, guys. It's an extremely low download size of 80 MB, and you're probably thinking the usual armor would be about 50. You've got to remember there's textures and also as well there's other different elements introduced besides armor. For our first spot is going to be Emperor's Will. This is a port originally done by Getchball. The armors and weapons are craftable. It's going to be requiring the Daedric smithing perk to craft all of these particular items within the mod. But if you cannot make this and you are a little bit impatient, you can always find this on General Talius after a purchase as well overall a pretty cool mod that looks absolutely sensational go and look at some of the screenshots on the page just because i think the person that's ported this over or has originally made the mod i'm not too sure what the source of the files are or the images but they look absolutely sensational really do like this arm again this is a heavy contender for one of the top five spots to do with my series that we do at the end of the week also another fabulous armor and this mod is coming in at just over 20 mb absolutely insane last one was going to be 80 we had a few different other things with that mod too but this one is really low download size guys even if you grab this one and just try it out it's going to take you seconds to download and for me definitely a keeper as it's an extremely low download size dark cultist outfit this is a requested mod i'm not too sure who requested this it doesn't say anything within the description but this armor can be found in a barrel next to the hand cart in front of the inn in Iverstead. The pieces have the same stats and enchantment as the original armor pieces, can be tampered with as well. They use the vanilla body, so obviously if you're rocking anything absolutely insane, these are not going to work, but I believe this is compatible with male and female. I'm not too sure if this is going to be configured for the beast race or anything like that, but overall it's a nice new armor for a mage. I haven't covered a mage armor anytime soon. I think the last one we did was the battle mage and the lagria armors. They were to do with a particular sort of sorcery Class if that was your thing but this one is new it's fresh and it is only 13.7 mb definitely a steal to grab this one guys and as well with the last episode we did uh, a fire spell with to do with the destruction that would be insane with this mod and for our final spot today is going to be something pretty simple but it avoids so many things to obtain the end goal this is going to be crossbows of scrime it allows the player to build or buy any particular crossbow and bolts without starting the dawn guard dlc 
see this adds the Imperial crossbow for the Legion, the Steel crossbow for the Stormcloaks, and the Iron crossbow and bolts for the Bandits. They are all on everyone else now. You can buy these, build them, and possibly find them on other NPCs. It just avoids the fact of starting the Dawnguard DLC. I haven't actually started the Dawnguard DLC myself. It's a little bit awkward. This isn't I should if I'm doing these mod showcase reviews, but it just avoids that sort of little section for anyone who doesn't want to start that or just wants to grab a crossbow for a build video or something like that. So nice, download size is going to be 6.4 MB, extremely low, nice new add-on to the game too. So that's it guys, that has been episode 20 of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, I am really am appreciating all the support you guys have been giving me on these top 5 videos. I really do hope you enjoy it, I put a ton of effort in as well, I've kind of been burning myself out this week, but the train is still going, that's for damn sure. Guys, if you did appreciate this video, make sure to hit me up with a like, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe, click that little bell to get notifications whenever I put out content on the channel. But thanks so much for watching guys, this has been Killer Kev and Killer Kev out.